So you want to know about chicken math? Let me indoctrinate you. Let's say you decide to get into chicken farming and you go to a local feed store and you buy four chickens. Turns out you did not know what straight run meant and you bought four straight run chickens, which means you could get four girls, you could get four boys, you could get a mix in between. So because you may have gotten four roosters, you go back to that feed store and you buy four pullets, female chickens. So now you have eight chickens, but you definitely have at least four pullets and probably a couple more from your straight run flock. Then you start telling your friends you just got some chickens and then you start to get some really cool information. You find out that black ostrilorps could potentially keep hawks away. You find out that Americanas lay blue eggs. Olive eggers lay a green olivey colored egg. So now you're like, I gotta get my hands on some chickens that lay these eggs. I don't want to be a basic brown egg girl. So you go buy Americanas, olive eggers, Easter eggers. Then you're looking online and you realize that some chickens have feathered feet and none of your chickens do. So you go to the feed store to buy a chicken with feathered feet. And then you realize that the minimum order is four. So you have to buy at least four of those feathered feet chickens. And then someone shows you a picture of a showgirl, a Polish or a silky. And you're like, holy Toledo, I need to go buy one of these cute chickens. Then you start telling your friends about all your chickens and you indoctrinate them into getting chickens and they learn what chicken math is. And the cycle continues.